Many researchers think algae may be part of the answer to slowing greenhouse gas emissions. As global carbon dioxide levels continue to go up, more mandates are likely to come down on power plants which provide our energy. Local 12's Josh Knight shows us how going green could actually have a very literal meaning, and it's already happening here. Power plants like this one in Boone County burn coal to create electricity, but that also releases greenhouse gas into the air. But now, that's being harnessed to grow algae, and ultimately much more. We've made jet fuel, we've made uh, renewable diesel fuel. Hard to believe they can go from algae to jet fuel, but making new products out of coal's leftovers has been going on for years. The flue gas coming from a coal fire plant, it's 10% uh, is uh, CO2. Or carbon dioxide, one of the most problematic greenhouse gases. The part you can see is water vapor, and the majority is nitrogen. All right, here we go. I just heard the valves go. The University of Kentucky and Duke Energy have partnered in this project. Algae is growing in the tubes, and like all plants, it grows and makes food using carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water. But inside these tubes, it has all the carbon dioxide it could want. Research like this is happening around the world, but this is the only place in the country where they're actually tied into a power plant. The gas coming out of that stack is actually the same gas running through this pipeline, and this is what they're using to run their tests. At this point, the amount of gas being diverted is minuscule, equivalent to a leak in the ductwork. But they're proving it's possible. They, they call it research for, for a reason. The, the, there's the re in research, so you do it over and over again until you find a way that works. In order to scale this up to take on all the gas from the flu, it would be a much bigger operation. Um, we're talking uh, hundreds of acres, uh, potentially square miles, um, and that's just a, uh, a factor of how fast the organism grows and how much CO2 is being generated. Wilson says that could be a good thing. But if you look at that from a positive side, um, you could say that's an awful lot of biomass we're producing, an awful lot of, uh, of final product. And that could be used to make anything from biofuel to pharmaceuticals, allowing you to grow green, go green, and maybe even make some green. In Boone County, Josh Knight, Local 12 News. The University of Kentucky researchers and students continue to improve on the efficiency of their design. They say in the right setting, growing algae can double each day.